Hey guys, hello. Welcome to another podcast. Jared, do the introduction. <laughs> this is episode 25, 6, one of those. And the crew's all here. Yeah, we're all, all the boys. All we're the back. boys are here. The yep. boys are back in town. The boys are back in town. Last week, uh, we were talking about boxing. Oh yeah, and when we, is that coming out? When we is- called an exhibition. An expedition. Yeah, well, you did that. We, don't don't rub me in there. Oh, it was me. <laughs> it was me, and I did it multiple times. Yeah. And the internet let let me have it. You know. Okay. So, so internet ex exhibition. Yeah. You see it. me struggling? <laughs> <laughs> this is not on purpose. All right. When we, okay. When we were kids, I would constantly correct those things about you. Mm. And one of the chief like milestones of my maturity was I remember whenever I was like, I'm not going to do that yeah. to Jared anymore. Yeah. Because it doesn't matter. Yeah, no. My, my whole family says alls. Alls? Alls. How you alls doing? Oh, okay. I mean, that's weird. Right? Granted, but yeah, but it's... If it's, it's a family tradition. It's a part of us now. Yeah. So... How y'all... Alls or y'alls? Alls. I don't get it. Yeah. A lot of people don't. <laughs> <laughs> but it's something we say. I mean, I get it. It was like y'alls, but <laughs> not an all. You all y'alls, y'alls. I don't know. Yeah, I'd you have know? it. Just have to come out naturally. I can't. Yeah, can't I'm f- sure there are a bunch of dumb, stupid things that I do. No. The cool thing about all those dumb, stupid things is that I don't know what they are. Yeah. And I don't annoy Same myself here. with them. Yeah. So Mandy has to deal with it. Alls I know. That's what it is. That's what we say. All's, alls I know. That makes more sense. All, okay. Alls all, I know. Alls I know. Where would that come from? I don't know. All that I know. I know it's wrong though. Yeah. Hmm. All's I know. Yeah. Exactly. I mean, it's... That's very Midwestern. That's where we're from. Yep. Yeah. We like mashed potatoes and biscuits and gravy. Sure. And we say all's I know. Can you put some bread sauce on my bread? <laughs> yeah. We all have the bread sauce. Could I get some more bread that's, with my that's bread? That's what gravy is. <laughs> White gravy is like bread sauce. Can you sauce. take like the meaty, the yeah. leftover meaty bits... And then make a sauce you see that's the out at the of bottom? the stuff you make bread you know, out of. Add flour, please. You know and then something? dairy. Yeah, yeah. Just that like I thought, thin out my bread with some dairy. <laughs> you <laughs> know that something up. that I've always thought was hilarious with vegans is they replace their meat with tofu. And you know what tofu is? It's soy. bread. Is it bread? It's freaking bread. I thought no, it was it's like carbs soy. and carbs. It's soybean. Yeah, yeah, you're right. There's, so, there's no it's soy protein. I mean, there's your body can use it. But right. But still, you're wrapping is, bread in bread. It's yeah, it's. Bread. But then you turn into a soy boy. Nobody wants that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was a vegetarian for a little bit. No, did you, you were. How'd that go? Uh, I did it for about a year and a half, mm. and I ate a lot of bread. But how did your body feel? I mean, enlightened. Uh, was it? I a, did it for a girl, dude. You did uh, it for a girl, but but like, did it make you feel better? I'll tell you what did feel good. Oh, uh, what was it? The please don't with the butt uh, stuff. Uh, was that <laughs> is that what, was good? So uh, would you say you're a chameleon in a relationship? You like I was then. Okay, not so much now. Yeah, now, now, now. Okay, this is so cool. Um, Actually, I remember that something that I uh, yeah. You I remember having a conversation with you at a bar, and I was like, "Who is this person? Who is this vegetarian? <laughs> Who is this <laughs> vegetarian <laughs> liberal yeah. dingus?" That wasn't. That I mean, wasn't, I, it's I okay to be liberal. liberal I'm just I, saying I wasn't. I wasn't uh, the classically liberal human that I am now. Right. Then. You were a liberal uh, the extreme. Liber- the liberal thing would have been like way later, later whenever I became like a lefty. Yeah. I was mm-hmm. a lefty for some time. Hmm. Which let me be clear. I don't care if anybody's There's a liberal. There's nothing wrong with it. Right. You're just wrong. I, I think, you know, there's extreme, <laughs> extreme, <laughs> extreme <laughs> Republicans, extreme <laughs> Democrats. Yeah. You were like on the extreme Anybody side of something. Anybody who signs up for one of the two sides is playing the same side of the same coin. Yeah. yeah I which, feel like yeah. I'm pretty moderate. Yeah. Lean left on that. Like my, my mom, my family's from like Denver and Colorado. So like. They're all pretty liberal leaning, but I'm like, they're like, we just need to get rid of guns. I'm like, I like my guns. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right. No, yeah. Like <laughs> Listen, Once if you we get, get one, you don't really want somebody but don't to take it from you. Take away the ability for a woman to treat her own body how she sees. <laughs> yeah. It's like, I support a right for my wife to have an abortion while holding a yeah. Glock. <laughs> yeah, I got, I got a hot take on guns. <laughs> so I can shoot that kid later down the line. <laughs> <laughs> if she's going to kill him, I can at least abandon him. <laughs> <laughs> That's awful. My so my hot take is I don't actually own a gun. I don't I don't own a gun, but uh, I want the ability to own one. Yeah. Because if yeah. if we lose the ability to, to uh, own guns as like 
law-abiding citizens, right. the unlaw-abiding citizens yeah. would be the only ones with guns. That's that's how I think of it. Well, then you just become yeah, an unlaw-abiding citizen. I, I, yeah. Oh, wow. As a owner myself, I don't... I've never actually shot the gun that I bought. You never you shot your gun? You never gone to like a shooting range and no, shot your gun? I bought it. I've already shot... So when it comes time so to use it, you're just <laughs> Yeah, you're just going to be like, no, 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 no. This one is an exact replica of my dad's. Oh, oh interesting. Yeah. What kind so of like, it? It's just a, a shotgun. Oh, okay. So it's a bird hunting gun. Gotcha. It's something that my family does. Is so. it like a pump or an over and under? No, it's or? a... It is a. It doesn't matter. Internet. You're not gonna like any of this information. It's a semi-automatic. Oh, cool. Uh, shotgun that that utilizes. It's a Browning from. It was invented in World War One. Like a trench and, gun. And they kept making <laughs> yeah. this Browning shotgun up until the 70s. I'm pretty sure we have one. My, it was my granddad's that mm-hmm. at my dad's right now that I will get one day. But yeah. my well, dad they, still had, or he has a Civil War gun. Yeah. Like the, the rifles that you have uh-huh. to like the musket, the musket. Yeah, he has <laughs> He's a musket. Like, oh yeah, government, come after me. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Robert, you stop got- for a second. <laughs> yeah. you, you, listen, get out my TV, yeah. Dad. There's guys outside with guns. All right, give yeah. me twenty <laughs> seconds <laughs> or twenty minutes. You I'll get, be ready. You get one shot, then you fix bayonet and charge. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm sitting Put there. Put my TV down. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he shit. does ah. actually. He does actually have two, so I could be just standing next to yeah. him like the Patriot, and you'd be like, load. <laughs> <laughs> right down. <laughs> Fuck, Dad! I'm scared. That has got to be the gayest gun action. <laughs> just a whole line of dudes just going, "I'm gonna kill you! Oh, yeah. We're, We're gonna, gonna get him! <laughs> We're gonna get him! You just..." <laughs> You guys know what you look like uh, when you're doing that, right? Oh, oh my god. <laughs> the other side's like, ha! Gay! <laughs> like the Indians. <laughs> ha! <laughs> what are they doing in there? Uh, They're loading their guns. The Indians have a giant banner. <laughs> it says, fr- ha! The French gay. guy next to the Indian's like, be quiet! <laughs> this is a gentlemanly fight! <laughs> it's like the French guy <laughs> from Patriot. <laughs> oh man, how much of our childhood is informed by those Mel Gibson movies? Oh. They're so. God, I love Mel Gibson. <laughs> or nineties Mel Gibson movies. Yeah, nineties Mel Gibson movies. Well, it was two thousand, early two thousands too. What was the one where he like could hear women's thoughts? That was what women want. Yeah, uh, that, that was a, great. That movie. was like where I was like, mm, maybe. No, I mean, not. I loved it. Pump the brakes. I, I loved it. Hey, hey, you can't do everything, well, yeah. Mel. <laughs> yeah, so right. Right. yeah. You can't <laughs> just get rid of Cornwallis and then wax your legs. I, the I, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think yeah. that was the point. I think that's why they hired him. They were like, yeah. this is the last guy that should do yeah. this. Uh-huh. Yeah. You're, well, lo- you're looking Mel a little Gibson? too masculine, Mel Gibson. <laughs> yeah. We're going to put you in a movie where you're going to wax your legs. Was he like the Ryan Gosling of the 90s? Is that? Oh, for sure. Yeah. Was that- do you guys find it interesting that he completely lost his Australian accent? Like, it's just gone. I, yeah. But if you, if, if you watch yeah. Mad Max, it's there. Yeah. But then, th- I mean... You you uh, you start to talk around like the people you hang out sure. with. <laughs> so who's he been hanging out with? Americans. Oh, I'm mean, just joking. Yeah. So I mean, Charlize Theron. Gone. She's like what South African? Does she off camera? I'm not sure. I don't know. I'm not sure. I did see an interview with Mel Gibson where he's like, I was hanging out with some other celebrity. I can't remember uh, who was the guy. He was in Dune. He was the Emperor. Mm. Uh, he's one of the. I know who you're talking. He's like more cowbell. You know that Wait, guy. the scars guard. More cowboy. That that's Will Ferrell. No, Will the Ferrell's Emperor. Pas- oh, 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 oh. God, come on, come on, come he's on, come on Batman. He's on. He's on Batman. Yeah, Christopher Walken. Yes. Apparently, oh, there's an he's interview. in Dune. Yeah, yeah. He's the oh Emperor. really? Okay. I thought he was like the messenger for the. I didn't watch. No, it. he's the full on Emperor. <laughs> okay. But anyways, I don't want to spoil Dune for you. You guys should see Dune. Oh no, so no, I, I definitely. This is Dune number two, right? Yeah, yeah Dune two. Yeah, well, makes me want to watch like, it more. This weekend, we're like, should we rent it? And it was like twenty five dollars. I was like, no. to rent it? Yeah, you must be buying it for twenty five. I know, right? No, buying it is thirty dollars. Might as well buy it. Yeah, right. If you're gonna watch it, then I was like. That'll probably come on Max How here in like they yeah. get a month. Away with twenty five dollars to rent a digital but movie in your like, house. So if Inflation, took, bud. If, if me and my wife went to the movie, we'd be spending forty on tickets alone. So right, that's so funny. Mm. Okay, anyways, so Christopher Walken. Yep. Mel Gibson has an interview with him, or like hangs out with him one day, and then he comes and does an interview with some random person in the late '90s or early 2000s or something, where it's kind of just like whenever Mel Gibson fell off. Mm-hmm. But he's like, "I met Christopher Walken, and he levitated 
like he's demonic. He's like, <laughs> that's Satan. what Mel Gibson said. Yeah, yeah. Mel, Mel Gibson, Gibson was start talking about how like everyone in Hollywood is well, you like. See, I uh, <laughs> I can float. Was this, was this, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Was this after yeah, Passion of the Christ? Christ or? Yeah, this is this okay. is post a, a Passion of the Christ, I think, or like right before they started production of it. But Mel Gibson is trying to like clean up Hollywood or whatever, and he's definitely got this like you know, apocalyptic sort of... I mean, and our parents were that way, I feel like. Yeah. It was like evangelical Christian... Um, There's always the end of the world around the corner. Spiritual <laughs> warfare, yeah. kind of like all these different concepts that you would know if you were a kid right. in the 90s in evangelical Christianity. In the because, Bible Belt, for sure, yeah. Yeah, and Mel Gibson was like, had a stage with that. Yeah, That was like, I remember when Passion of the Christ came out, it was a huge deal. Like Huge deal. I don't. I, they're they're making a the second one, apparently. Really? Yeah, yeah, they're he, making he, a sequel. What is it? Damn, I don't know. the guy. What's next? <laughs> I don't know. Spoiler alert. He yeah. dies. <laughs> and spoiler alert, he's dead. But what? he comes back to life. What? I think, yeah, yeah, I think they're doing the resurrection. That's the yeah, they're going to just retconning. pick it up right after? Yeah. Jesus now. Yeah, I don't know. But, I don't know. Yeah, they're yeah. working on it. They got uh, the same Jesus guy. Oh, yeah, really? uh, Jim Caviezel. Yeah. I didn't really see him much in... Stuff after that. No, mm. that was like that was like his he did, big he hit. He did a more conservative did... film. I hate that that's politicized. Why are films politicized so much? There was a uh, not. It was like a Taken esque movie, but it was really grotesque, and it was about uh, sex trafficking hmm. in South America recently. Hmm. Did you not remember this movie? No, I don't. I, I, don't, to, I don't know what okay. this movie like, is. So interesting with like movies now affect me differently than. Like with kids, that yeah. is. Like yeah. if anything's like sex trafficking or children are yeah. being, I'm like, mm, I'm good. I don't yeah. want to even watch the trailer. It's grotesque. <laughs> so yeah, so yeah. you didn't watch that Nickelodeon documentary? I started it. I have not finished it. Mm. Bro, some things you just need to like, I don't need that ruined. Like I started the... the I know, that a, is kind of ruined for me now. Yeah. Nickelodeon? Yeah. yeah like, like the whole thing. stuff, yeah. The sex. Oh. Yeah. But like there was like a Ukrainian documentary that won an Oscar... It's like 28 days in some Mariupol or something. Mm. Mm. And it's just like the first 10 minutes is like all these families running to the rec center to live in the basement. And I was just like, I can't even imagine what they're going through. Right. Like I had to turn out like my blood pressure was going up because I was just right. Like, with kids mm. watching a movie now, it's, I don't know, it changes how you it, see Yeah, it. it changes how you see the world, really. Yeah. Honestly. Um, what is your favorite movie? So me and my wife were talking about this the other night. We were like, yeah, that's hard to answer. So I was like, well, what's your most watched? Yeah. yeah. What is the one that you're like, I don't know what to watch. I'll just watch this yeah. again. Honestly. So it's probably galaxy quest. Is Gal the one oh my God. Oh such my a good movie. Mur <laughs> you know, <laughs> Dwight from, yeah. from yes. is in that movie uh, from uh, so the is, office. So is Monk. Never give up. Never surrender. Yes. Never give up. <laughs> you are right. <laughs> Such a great <laughs> it movie. Is so good. I love whenever they beam up to the ship and like they don't have their cloaking or whatever it is to turn them humanoid looking. Right. And they're just yeah. like octopuses, like, <laughs> 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 yeah. and then like they're just like, <gasps> and then the yeah. captain shows up. He's like, what's up, guys? <laughs> and Monk, whatever his name is, is just like, oh, that was a fucking trip. <laughs> and then everybody else is just like, Frozen. <laughs> yeah. It's so great. It's so I good. love that movie. There's you know, so many good one liners in the movie. I yeah. can't think of them right now, but there's so many just things we would quote as kids constantly. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Here's a question for you. Uh -huh. uh, I hate to take it away from Star Trek parodies because I love those. But um do you think that as you grow up, you become I mean, we know statistically this happens, but are you f finding that you become more conservative as you move through your life stages? Uh, In yeah. some aspects. Yeah, I think not so. Not all of them. It's, so how so? I mean, fundamentally, I feel like what made this country great was giving the working class an ability to have a seat at the table. Like up upward mobility. Right. Yeah, but mm -hmm. I feel like right now we're losing that mm -hmm. because of there's union busting going on there's mm -hmm. but in other aspects it's more it's definitely like i can be like oh i don't want my kids to be like hi dad i'm a potato today and like, well, what are you talking about <laughs> You're not right. a potato. i'll show you a potato it's your granddad <laughs> yeah. Sorry. that's like i will never i will this sounds bad but i will never understand i guess the fluidity of like changing gender gender or like yeah. 
I'm a wolf person. Well, like, you know what's crazy is the. I was helping person, my wife. You still have to pay taxes. <laughs> yeah. I, was, I was helping my wife <laughs> set up a new Gmail the other day, and it had three os- three options for your sex: male, female, and custom. Custom. I was like, "Hey, babe, you want to be a they cat changed today?" It from other. <laughs> <laughs> I could set. I could set you up as a cat. Meow, meow, meow. <laughs> you could just email and meows. Do you think there's some guy Google that's just like <laughs> click, 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 click? Oh, custom. What the? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's one thing I, I don't well, understand. People are so creative. I don't, I don't, it makes know. me I don't, feel old, but... I, you, I don't think you should feel old. I think it's just like you've got common sense. Yeah. I mean, I understand, uh, like, you know, like whatever you want to like. I, I don't mean, care. If you I don't put, care if at you want to put the ears on but like, and you want to meow. Yeah, keep, if we're talking great, about science, you, I don't sing. need to yeah. like publicly recognize that that's what you're into. Right. Or like, why? why uh, it's almost like... Uh, that there was this concept of uh, when we were kids, of politics doesn't really belong at the dinner table with people outside the family, sure. right? And like bedroom talk doesn't belong, yeah, with people that don't need to be subjected to it, right? right. In some ways, and there was this kind of like, hey, I totally man, agree with whatever that. you're into, but like, and oftentimes I think that 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 kind of like hey your sexuality just keep it to yourself hey your politics keep it to yourself unless you're willing unless you're in a, a group of people that want to yeah, talk about yeah, it right. unless, 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 you're, unless you're willing to literally spoil the room with right. div- div- divisiveness yeah. right um that was prob- that was because people valued the connection sure. right. the politeness of connection you know what i mean right um, now, not to say that that in the past it was better. I'm sure people were just as asinine at Thanksgiving. Sure. Yeah. But all of that is like that should be um, more of a given in our society. Like, hey, it's Thanksgiving. You're going to go see your family. You're going to be forced to stay in the house for a couple of days right. with these folks that think differently. That think differently than you. Hey, how about you just like prep that. Everybody knows they don't have to be the same. Yeah, right. You know, which is you, you weird don't that have to agree yeah, on everything. You don't have to talk we've about deviated this. Deviated from being that. able to yeah. have different opinions to yeah. such a binary. Yeah. Like that's wrong. That's wrong. It's like, are you on this side or that side? Yeah. Right. And, and if you can't have a conversation, nobody's not, mind can be changed. Right. You know what I mean? Like, right. I, my mind has changed several times with people that were willing to have a conversation with me. And right. you know whose fault that is? It's the fury, furry agenda. They're trying to yeah, break the this furries, country. They're driving yeah. Miatas. <laughs> they're wearing yeah. uh, purple wolf suits. Yeah. And you know what? The wolf suit, I'm, I'm, I hate to tell you, it's in the way. So they're not even having good When you said furry, times. I was thinking cats. Oh, well, cats are ruining this country? Is oh, that what's cats. going on? Cats do ruin every country. I'll tell country. you, the, the, the <laughs> most recent Cats I love movie cats. Ha- is trying to ruin our country. Oh, yeah. What'd you say? The cats most recent movie? Cats movie? Uh, it came oh, out like, like a musical? Oh, ago, like a, so. a long time ago. I, I think you need to Listen, watch it Listen, the now. whole country recognized that that movie was terrible. Yeah. yeah. So. Didn't they like edit out the cat's buttholes or something? I was getting ready to say, had, for some reason wait, there was a butthole thing about there was the cats. Cat, there, they all had buttholes I in this? I think like the initial trailer had like cat, cat buttholes. Cat buttholes? Like, they all had buttholes. Well, they're, I mean, they're cats. They gotta, <laughs> yeah, have you so ever seen a cat? Which guy no was cat. assigned to that? In the CGI department. It's like, all right, you're on butt faces, you're on butts. <laughs> yeah, I want Chris buttholes. Chris butts. <laughs> the guy's right? just like copy and pasting starfishes. <laughs> Chris butts. <laughs> Listen, uh, this these butts from, better look good. Yeah, this is from my cat's butthole at home. I took a picture. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I t- I, here's a reference. There's a guy with a DSLR. Yeah. Go ahead and put that on like, your desk. <laughs> Gotta get all these buttholes for the cast movie. <laughs> I I never saw that movie. Which I never I, saw that. Not, I mean, no, as soon as I saw, why would you see that movie? Yeah. As soon as I saw the trailer, I was like, that is something that I am uninterested. Yeah. In. Dude, I love Rogan's joke about the word gay. What is it? Because he goes like, he's like, he's like, no, some things are just gay. It's not bad. Right. Musicals are gay. <laughs> no, they're just gay. It's not. They're not bad. <laughs> Cats is gay. Yeah. I like some musicals. Some guy who's like working on cats is like, you know what this needs is more buttholes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like Fan of the Opera? Yeah, checks out. Great musical. I don't think I've ever seen it all the way through. It's good. Uh, Phantom of the Opera is actually objectively good. Um, the dude who did, I believe, and I might be confusing this, but the guy who wrote the music for that, Hans Zimmer. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No did, name guy. 
No, I'm Hans Zimmer. Yeah, he did uh, the <laughs> no Christopher Nolan movie. <laughs> Nobody he did knows Interstellar, Hans and I think yeah, I he know. also worked directly on the Dune soundtrack. Yeah. I, can't, I, I think might he be did getting Star my Wars. Makes too. sense. Oh wait, no, it, that was, I, William was Hans Hall. Zimmer the one yeah. that did? Uh, so there was also a big artist that did all the music for uh, Home Alone. Was it Hans Zimmer? Probably John Williams. Yeah. Oh, I think it was John Williams. Yeah, it was John Williams. But uh, you know, we uh, whenever Jake got married, mm. like I don't know, a year or so ago, mm-hmm. or two years ago, I'll we went to Broadway, and I took my wife to see with Max and Ashley the Book of Mormon. Oh, dude, that play is, or musical is amazing. It I've was a bad experience so. for me. Why? Why? Not because I didn't like the the play, but because. My wife does not like that kind of comedy. So that whole time I was <laughs> sitting there, even though she's yes, all the good exactly. jokes, even so, though she's not Mormon, or is, she didn't care about it. Okay. Was just the jokes, you know? Okay. The jokes are too were too uh, too uh, crude for her. I see. So so I'm sitting there. I'm podcast. sitting there watching right. the Book of Mormon like. <laughs> No, this is terrible. Man. Oh, can you oh, believe you said awful. that? <laughs> yeah, I right? was dying. <laughs> right? There's one one moment while we were watching the Book of Mormon where she started laughing, and all of a sudden I was, was enjoying the, myself. Was it the <laughs> dum 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 dum? I don't know. I can't remember what it was. That was but she laughed remember. one time. The rest of the time she was just. Joseph mm. Smith was a prophet. Dum, 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 dum. <laughs> that was in the show. Yeah, that was because right. like, there's like a murder baby line or like whole song or yeah. something. Oh yeah, Lauren was, was just. <laughs> I have uh... the whole time, <laughs> and so was I. Because it's my her wife. Doing that. <laughs> just this is awful. We should have went and saw Hamlet, and she probably would have loved Hamlet. I have Book of Mormon boxers that I got from the show in New York City, which was great. Yeah. It would, it would have been something I would have enjoyed dum, 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 dum. not with my wife. Oh, yeah. But you know, it's just one of those moments. How can you be like, hey, babe, I'm going to go. Right. I really an wanted to see it. night out without you. <laughs> no, I'm not, not going to do that when we're in New York together. Uh, babe, yeah. we're going to go see this play. You're going to chill at the hotel. Uh, <laughs> you know what? I got you uh, some microwave popcorn and a big yeah. bowl yeah. and uh, some chocolate. No. Yeah, I felt bad. I guys, should have known that it was it was we shouldn't have gone to I see it. I mean that. it's by South Park guys. So like. I know that's I mean <laughs> that's why I wanted to see it. I want because I love South Park. Uh do you guys I watch I should have known I kind of feel bad for you. Yeah. Don't you feel bad for me, you feel bad for Lauren. I, I forced her to go see something she didn't want to see. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's my bad. I wish you could share that with her. That'd be fun. Yeah. <laughs> well, it, I don't I actually don't care that that our humor is different. Our humor it, and and do you Similar. ever talk about these things out loud? Oh, yeah. No, of course. Okay, so she knows. So what's going to happen yeah. whenever yeah. your yeah, kids start like going to daddy's brand of comedy? I and mean, you're that's... all <laughs> laughing at the dinner table. And she's just like... <laughs> we, talked, like we, touched on this, <laughs> we touched on this last episode. You know, she doesn't think farts are funny, right, but my right. kids do. Oh, my God. And that's, that's, that's all right. It's yeah. fine. She finds things funny that I don't find funny, and that's just how it is you can't have every you can't be similar in everything well i do like think back well, when my, me and my were, wife are like the same person so oh, okay, i don't know what well, you're talking you guys have tons of problems then <laughs> totally. yeah, yeah you're right <laughs> we both have the same hemorrhoid right now <laughs> yeah whenever we poop we're both bleeding <laughs> my ass <laughs> babe what do we do about this i don't know i got the same problem <laughs> you're both in the versus toilets <laughs> <laughs> oh my god <laughs> there's this guy uh, I work at a church and in the green room occasionally I'm not going to tell the name names but he goes he'll just be sitting there and when, he, when no one is, no one of our bosses is there he'll go oh my ass <laughs> in the green room and, and it's like just, so I'll just be sitting there quiet waiting to play the next service <laughs> just out and of nowhere and this guy's like hollering oh <laughs> <laughs> it just—it never like it's. I don't know why it's so. It shouldn't be funny to me because he does it so much. It's like for that. It was like that way for like. It was that way for probably he probably did it once, or twice a day, every Sunday for probably five weeks because he just knew he'd get a laugh every yeah. time. <laughs> I kind of miss that he's not doing I mean, it. I think it's really. like the inappropriateness of where you're at. Yeah. Yeah. Plus the, yeah. That's great. Uh, I once went on a trip. With a group of dudes, uh, that we were the production team for a ministry, and uh, we were driving through Vegas. And for some reason, our one-liner for the week was "bloody basin." 
Bloody Basin. Bloody Basin. That was okay. our inside joke. We'd yeah. be like, oh man, look at that billboard. Yeah. What a f- <laughs> what a fucking bloody, bloody basin, basin that is. You know, it's it's. I don't know what that even means. I don't right. know either. I mean, a basin is like. And why a, is bloody to English people like a cuss word? I don't know. I, I don't remember know. getting why scolded by be, my mom saying bloody like a, one time. And bloody. Like, Bloody basin! <laughs> if my kid came in with like a perfect British accent and just swears <laughs> like know. all New Zealand style yeah. or like like just British, I'd be like, you know what? That's hilarious, bud. I'm sorry. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> nice funny. accent. Yeah, that's, that's, how did you do that? <laughs> <laughs> hey like, dad, bloody bison. <laughs> like, like, that's like, nice. Just like, oh man, if you topped it off with a C word at me, I'd be like, whoa, where'd you learn that? Your mother. <laughs> I'd be like, oh my god. You know, one time we were <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> For some oh, yeah. reason, uh, this is just like another uh, one-liner that came from another trip. Me and Donnie were camping one week mm-hmm. oh my God. when we were like kids, I know. like this 12, is, 12 or 14 years old. We're all in the water fishing. I think I know where this came from. Yeah. I think it was yeah. me. And, uh, <laughs> and Donnie all of a sudden goes, hey guys, you need me to bait your hooks? Bait your hooks for the fish? Literally. No, nah, we're good. And he's like, well, you might want me to because I am a master baiter. <laughs> <laughs> Just, <laughs> I, thought, I thought it was really clear. Yeah, yeah. I remember that day. Did you practice was, that before the trip? You were just like, yeah, was oh, that was something like, you thought up before? No, before it was I, like, got so, I remember. I remember exactly the moment. I was walking. It was like hot outside, like not enough sunblock, and I didn't have like the proper shoes. I remember that particular camping trip. I was like, didn't have water shoes, mm. and so I was like suffering through all these rocks. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like. Masturbator. <laughs> Masturbator. That's I got to say that. That'll make my and feet then, feel and then better. The first person yeah. I tried it on was Ben. <laughs> what did he do? Did he, he have a reaction? Like, <laughs> oh. <laughs> you know, ben is. He cracked up. And I was like, this is a great joke. This is good. And then I started this using works. it on everybody. And I was like, Jared, would you like for me to <laughs> the next guy? Hey, would you like for me to bait your hook for you? I'm a masturbator. <laughs> By the end, it was like, we're good. We're, we're good. good. Right. Donnie, Thanks. we get it. We get it. We are all masturbators, okay? All right. <laughs> Everyone in the world is, yeah. if you have a penis. What? Like, you know, I don't know. I, mean, I don't think I mean, all. It's so funny because, like, I think at that age, there's, there's some masturbator Which women's. is fine. I just don't think it's every single one. <laughs> like, it can't be dudes. all of us. No. There's one guy out there that's like, what are you guys talking about? You can what? What? You want me to... Can you put this on my hook? That works. <laughs> you, you, you actually think there's a dude out there that hasn't found it yet? That's never done that? Yeah. I mean, even accidentally, just been like... I mean, that's what I did as a oh, kid. Yeah. 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 <laughs> accidentally. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> this oh, this oh. feels interesting. <laughs> oh, my God. It happened by accident. So funny. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa! By, yeah, I think did it my, happen by accident for you guys too? Yeah, absolutely. Point? I knew yeah. something was wrong with me when I was like twelve and a half, and I was like, "Why do I want to? St- why do I like holes so much? <laughs> <laughs> Things with holes. Things with holes are I'm, crazy to me. This donut hole. <laughs> why do I want to put my, this on my dick? Mine was more like, "What can I rub it against to make it feel like that?" <laughs> yeah, mm. wasn't specifically holes. It could have been a anything. couch cushion. Anything. Yeah. <laughs> Anything. I didn't really know what I was, was doing. The couch cushion. Yeah, I didn't know what I was doing. Poor it couch. just was yeah. like you know. Whoa! Yeah. Oh. Wait, wait. How do I make that happen? Yeah, again? yeah, yeah. Mm. You Man. go from just an innocent little boy to a feral caveman very quick. Oh my just, gosh! Argh. Yeah. <laughs> Oh man, I, I want to just show everybody that Shane Gillis lick. Uh, sorry, lick his bit. Where he talks about that, like yeah, he's like, his, you guys remember when you were gay? You guys remember <laughs> when you were gay? When your best friends are your mom? Yeah, yeah. You were like what? your mom's You're gay just, best friend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your your mom's gay best friend until until the first time you jerk off, and then it all changes. You, you hate your mom after that. I don't know what it is. Yeah. <laughs> what? I got. Work I'm not seeing this. <laughs> get out of here, mom. I've got things to do. Get, 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 out, of here. Go, get out of the house. Yeah. Get out. <laughs> Uh, that was hilarious. <laughs> then you're not your mom's best friend anymore. Yeah, it's true. They're they're saying that Shane Gillis is like the next big dude. I mean, he's I the funniest. He, he's, he is the funniest person in the in the world, other than Chappelle. To he's, me, that's that's what yeah. I was yeah. about he's to compare to. I thought it, coming out I wasn't sure Netflix, if I should. And then he's got Gillian Keeves, which is hilarious. Mm-hmm. And his like he did SNL. Yeah, for like a week. 
Yeah. And then he got fired. No, no, no. Like he was the host of SNL. Oh, recently. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They had oh, him host, oh, which is yeah. like a full circle thing. Right. Oh, wow. That's crazy. That's even better. Yeah. Not yeah. getting the gig in SNL and then being like, can you host the show? Please? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> can you come yeah. back and be hurt. our, you know, main guest? Like our main I mean, main that was guy. also during like the huge like cancel movement. So. Yeah. All of his bits were golden. Yeah. On SNL. They, they were, were top. You know, one of my favorite bits on SNL is what? Uh, the Californians. Oh, yeah. I don't remember that one. It, like, <laughs> drive down the night or 805. 805. <laughs> and my favorite part is just, what's his name? Will, Will, uh, Farrell? no, 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 not know. Will Farrell, but uh, Bill Hader. Oh, is yeah, that his yeah, name? Yeah, yeah. Bill Hader. Yeah. Bill Hader. Yeah. Which he's from uh, Tulsa. Tulsa. Yeah. Bill Hader, just the whole time he's just always losing it. He's just to, like, <laughs> he just like, <laughs> he's like you know, next to Kristen Wiig. This morning. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Literally, yeah, yeah. The whole SNL person <laughs> breaks character because they're laughing so hard at the thing. Yeah, that's one of my. It's always things. hilarious. There was a recent one. Did you see the the, the Be- Beavis and Butt? I was just getting <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. Oh my yeah. god, that was so that funny. Was, yeah. I did. You I watched that yet. one. I watched that one with the uh, Ryan with Gosling. Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. 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 What? That guy's really distracting. Yeah. Yeah. He's like looking around. <laughs> Trying to find the guy Talking that's about distracting. you. <laughs> <laughs> and these next to each other. Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> and when she when she turns around and just loses it, yeah, yes. it looks so much yeah. like he was. But I can't believe that guy's lip to be like. I guarantee they just like threw some <laughs> yeah, like. How did they do that? It wasn't like glued his lip yeah. up. Like I mean, I can kind of. Yeah. <laughs> Which guy was that? I couldn't I even recognize him because he's like butt No, he's this dude. Head. He's on there all the time. I, I don't know his name, but. I don't know. <laughs> it, was, it was pretty funny. It's interesting. Like Legendary. Saturday Night Live, like for a while, I watch it and I would just be sitting there, literally, just like, yeah, I know, same. Like this isn't funny. Yeah, yeah. I mean, where's where's the funny? Yeah, because no one was taking risks. I you also know. think it's like a generate. Like when you're a teenager, peak comedy is Saturday Night Live. Mm-hmm. At least it was for me because I was like a annoying theater kid back then. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And we would just like every weekend just be like, "Did you guys watch it? Oh my god, it was so funny!" <laughs> it was also, and if you didn't think it was funny, you'd be like the yeah. uncool kid. Yeah, 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 yeah. So you'd be like, "Yeah, it was hilarious." You clearly don't know the nuance of theater. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I do um, mourn the death of the monoculture. Mono, right? Culture. Because what is that? like I call it that. I don't know what it's supposed to be called, but the fact that our media was siloed into like. Three major channels, and then like whatever was on high frequency. Oh, yeah. You know, back whenever it was broadcast, when there was no cable, Mm -hmm. it was like broadcast channels. And then even when there was cable, not all the kids could afford it. And I remember being like, Your house has cable? Your parents pay for cable? That's Mm. crazy. My parents always made it seem like cable was like such a waste. But you guys probably had cable. I know you both did. Yeah, but, uh, but, had um, cable. Yeah, but the cable. We thing, had the deluxe package. Yeah. <laughs> but even though you had cable, our childhood was uh, nice. Yeah. Even stay though, up late even on <laughs> HBO. What's that? Yeah, stay up late till three a.m. Three a.m. Just waiting for Girls Gone Wild. Oh, promos. dude! Oh my God, the Girls Gone Wild promos. <sighs> that was on. That was over the air. That was on forty one. Yeah. yeah. To I this day, know. I still have not seen an un. Censor, censored version of girls. Neither have I. Never. It was <laughs> always. Not. It was it's always so just a censored thing. <laughs> it's it's so sad like, if you see it. I know, but it's like, so as sad because young... they're like in the bus, they're like, "What do you want me to do?" Yeah. And they're like, "You want me to go wild?" And she's Let's... like, oh. "No, no." They're always, they're always in a good mood. Always. You always. can tell they're crying behind those eyes. There's nobody who's like. I couldn't. I was. Who's like fourteen? I don't have dad issues. Yeah, fourteen is like. I don't just have lift dad that shirt. I want to see a girls gone wild over here. Outline of your boobs, please. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I needed, man. Man, yeah. But it was okay. So what I'm seeing, what I mean is, is like the the three major networks, and they even then the three major networks still had the better shows. Yeah, because uh, we would still even if you had cable, you were like, oh yeah, it's on six or it's on. When I was watching that recent Nickelodeon documentary, mm-hmm. yeah, I was thinking about the fact that like, holy crap, when we were kids, we had like two stations mm-hmm. to pick from. Disney Channel and Nickelodeon, mm-hmm. and now my kids can just like infinite. oh, it's insane! Infinite. Like I had to explain commercials to my kids. I know, right? Like, mm. like normally they'll watch Bluey uninterrupted mm-hmm. yeah. on Disney Plus for 
the whole day. Like if I let them, I'm not right. Gonna yeah. But like our wives never let them. Yeah. But if we're home alone right. with the kids, <laughs> yeah. TV all day. Yeah. <laughs> and then like, <laughs> like it's so weird. Like going. Your to brain's eat. only gonna be a little bit super <laughs> right, at the end right. of the day. Yeah. And I'll just I'll just interrupt every once in a while. Whenever mommy comes home, we don't. We're not doing yeah, this yeah, anymore. Yeah. <laughs> but like even like playing a YouTube video that they want to watch, and it has like an app because I don't have YouTube Premium or anything. Yeah. It's like there's an ad. And they're like, "What is this? This what is not blue." I was like, "This is five seconds you have to sit there. <laughs> Just five. hold on, Dad. The TV's broken. <laughs> Literally, my son it's will just go, Ned, son. Daddy, turn it on. Turn it on.'" And I'm just like, <laughs> "I'll come in." And but it is weird. There are like on kids YouTube specifically on my Apple TV. There's like 30 minute ads. What? Yeah. On kids YouTube? Yeah. So is it like another kids show that they no, want it, them to watch? No, or is it's it like weird? It's like Is it like this is why you want an F one fifty? Serious. It's like very weird, like old person advertising. And then I I'll That like, just seems so malicious to yeah. me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Seriously. I have no I have no way around that other than And also, being what's the point for the advertiser? You're trying to sell something <laughs> well, ridiculous no, I, what to I a think kid it is, that doesn't is have that any money. The parent turns it on, walks away. Mm-hmm. And so now this ad is running in the background. And the kid's just like, eh. I can't push the button to skip this until he's like, daddy on, daddy <laughs> on. Like, okay. Oh yeah. This is weird. Let's skip I, this. I just genuinely, I have such, um, concerns with what that does to children because we didn't have that stuff. We had boredom and in boredom yeah, we learned creativity. Right. In boredom we learned self regulation, like emotional regulation. I remember going home and being like, Man, if I just sit here and do nothing, I feel so bad. Yeah. And I remember you coming over whenever we were young, 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 and you'd be like Man, we can't just play video games all day. And I'm like, why not? And you're like, because we gotta go outside. Yeah. If we go outside, then we're gonna feel good. You know, like like I remember you being like that. Like, I can't just sit here and, and I'd be like, I don't have an N64 yet, or I don't have whatever. I would think you had 007, I didn't, or whatever, whatever it was, whatever hmm. game we were into. I was like, I just wanna sit here and play this game all the time. And you're like, nah, we gotta go outside. We gotta like get some balance in there. And it's because you understood at at an internal level, like, I have to do something. Mm-hmm. To feel good, and it was oftentimes it was going outside, and it was like riding bikes, or it was playing baseball, or it was whatever. We went outside and played, right? And then it was like that was what regulated us emotionally. And I remember, right? Oh, absolutely, yeah. yeah like if we, would, you put, we would do that. Otherwise, if we stayed inside and played games the whole day, what would we would do is we would stay up way too late. And I remember, I know exactly what I was doing as a kid. Is it was like I didn't have siblings. You did, but yep. for me. I was like... Well, you didn't have siblings that lived with you. Yeah, well, they were all 15 and 17 years older than me. So it basically, I was an yeah. al- alone, only child. So for me, I was like trying to hit the dopamine button of like, oh man, Jared's here. We're going to party. We're going to do everything that's fun. And so it was like, <laughs> Legos. We're going to play Sims. Sims. We're going to play N64. We're going to do GameCube. We're going to do whatever. you know. And then we would just go and go, 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 go. And it would stay up as late as we could because it was like, we got to keep playing, man. Especially whenever it was uh, a lot of boys at once. Like it would be like me, you, Zach, and Will, right. and whoever, whatever. It was all us little guys all trying to hit that dopamine as hard as we could. And then the next day, it was like our brains had to regulate from this intense, like, more fun, more fun, more right. farts, more farts, more funny, <laughs> more you know, farts, you know, or whatever. <laughs> like everything was just like, and then. Boom. That Saturday after the Friday sleepover was like this incredible crash. You know, and, and then you would there go was a home few times and I would where be by we myself would, like, oh. Uh, there was a few times where we would spend the night at each other's house on a Friday. Yeah. And then have the, the, the potential of two nights in a row. And that Sunday always sucked. Oh my God. Yeah. It was like, it was like the equivalent of drinking when you're <laughs> 12. Yeah, it really was. Cause it was like, let's, <laughs> let's only eat cinnamon toast, crunch and pizza right. rolls. Only drink Mountain Dew. Stay up, stay up until we can. We are not sleeping at all. There's yeah. no sleeping. We are, we are partying. I, mean, I feel like that's on par for any kind of sleepover. Though. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, unless you're the host, you're like, yeah, but b- b- be quiet, mom's over there. <laughs> yeah. Well, but, but all of that was like, we learned eventually that like, there's a point whenever we were like, let's like not stay up all night. Yeah. 
Yep. At some that point, was, teenagers like, were like, last we should, year, I think, we should not that. see the sun. We should. <laughs> last year yeah i mean i still i still do it occasionally <laughs> yeah. stay up way too late having too no, much fun I went to a bachelor party like a couple months ago and i think i was the first one to sleep every single night oh really just i oh, could man. not i have a serious case of fomo so if if mm-hmm. if we have like a night out mm-hmm. i'm usually one of the last ones left just because i just don't want to miss anything. sure i get that sure. but this was like all weekend and i knew what they were getting into and i was like i'm good oh yeah mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. like they were like there's a diminishing return yeah, that we've yeah. realized as adults yeah. so we didn't know yeah. as kids but like all these different experiences about like being outside or emotionally regulating or not being able to watch the show you want because it's only on Thursday nights at seven. I know. I remember as a you kid, know, or, whenever SpongeBob would show up on the TV, I would announce it to the house. SpongeBob is on. Yeah. And then all my siblings that like SpongeBob would come and we'd watch it. Yeah. Right. Now, you know, I remember the survivor turn on nights. You want. I remember who wants to be a millionaire night. Yep. Yep. I remember. And I mean, this was an event. Like, right. we're like, are you going to come over to our house? We're going to watch. I used who to wants host, to be a millionaire? Uh, lost yeah. watch parties at my house. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Lauren did too with her brother. Yeah. yeah. We had watch parties for Game of Thrones when it was first going. Like, this is even whenever we were yeah. in college. But like, these sorts of experiences of delayed gratification, of self soothing, mm-hmm. of. Boys, go figure it out on your own. We had to come up with like the rule of law between Jared, me, Ben, Hunter, Justin, yeah. Jesse, like all of these different people. Like, we do we or do we order ourselves by age? That kind of seems right. Or do we order ourselves by whose house it is, or by competency? You know what I mean? I, I have a question. Yeah. Uh, if your life was a movie. Uh-huh. Yeah. Would it be entertaining? Probably not. Uh, no? You don't think so? Uh, I mean, I was on Dr. Phil, so probably. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> I was thinking, that's the climax. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Nick gets on Dr. Phil. Yeah. You watch too much TV. No, it would be like a dark comedy where you don't, dark fe- comedy? You don't feel good at the end of it kind of movie. Oh, really? <laughs> 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 I think my life would be like a 500 Days of Summer situation. A 500 Days of Summer. Do you remember that movie? Yeah. Yeah. Well, that that has a jo- uh, Joseph Gordon Levitt and Zoe Deschanel. And yeah. Zoe Deschanel, yeah. Like that movie to a T would be like what you would make my life about. It would mm-hmm. be like this movie because that dude. I've never actually seen it. Oh, it's an amazing film. Film, but you have to watch it knowing that you're not supposed to root for Zoe Deschanel and for Joseph Gordon Levitt to be together. Because my whole life I watched they, like, that toxic movie. Toxic or something with each terrible. other. Terrible. But you don't know, like as a kid, I thought like, man, I'm, yeah, I really do. I and mean, Zoe Deschanel was so like So you've my been crush. in a lot of bad relationships. Well, it wasn't that this one was bad. It was that the girl was upfront with him. I don't want this. This is just fun. Like, I'm not that into it. Like, mm-hmm. and then he falls for her because she keeps him on a string. Like, because she's like this elusive, aloof manic pixie dream girl he's chasing her and that's what he's really like his and they have this like amazing sequence where he's got a dance number and there's cartoon animals i've seen that on youtube i've seen that bit it's such a cool part of the movie but what it's actually saying is like this dude isn't in love with zoe deschanel he's in love with how he feels right right sure and the zoe deschanel character is just saying like dude i don't want this like you do I've never wanted this like you do. I told you I didn't want this like you do. And then it ends and he's heartbroken. And it's like, That's when is end? this guy going to learn? Mm. And the next girl he meets is named Autumn instead of Summer. And it's like, oh. is he going to do the same thing to her too? Because he was actually the problem by not respecting himself. What he should have said is, hey, I am crazy about you. So if you're not crazy about me, I'm out. Mm. That's like the moral of the story that you don't catch if you think of it as like, you know, a love story. Because mm. it's kind of a love story, but it really is, is a cautionary tale. Anti-love story. What, mm-hmm. what did you like about Serena when you met her? Like, how did that relationship <sighs> well, no, how happen? Was you, well, no, let's talk about movie with you. What, what do, uh, what? Your, your, your life is a movie. My life is a movie. I yeah, think yeah, yeah. it's still, it cur- I don't think the ending has shown up yet. I've definitely Hopefully. had the ups and downs. Yeah. Hopefully the ending hasn't shown up. No, yeah, they, well, I mean, like, not like I'm going to die. I mean, like, like the happy ending hasn't shown up yet. Like, I've mm. had moments of just like, holy crap, you did it, Jared. 
And then recent moments where it's like, holy crap, Jared, should have some, should have, should have did something different in that moment, you yeah. know, type stuff. Um, so I mean, I think it's it's still developing. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I do have a lot of what I strived for, which is like an awesome wife. Yeah. Exactly the two kids. Yeah. That I I, I wanted two kids. I wanted a boy and a girl. We got mm. that. Um, now I'm just trying to get my career exactly yeah. where I want it. You know what I mean? No, I totally get what you're saying. Do you I think just, there's actually a, uh, a point whenever you're like, I have everything I can stop. I don't think so. I uh, mean, yeah, no, I think no. I'll always want more, but right. I definitely want a different, uh, day to day right sure. now. I had a friend recently pass away and it's put a lot of perspective on like my own life. It sounds selfish thinking about it, but it's like, Oh, it's things that I want that I'm like worried about aren't right. actually that bad right now. Right. Like it could be a lot worse. And it's exactly rec- recently put a lot of perspective on like when I messaged the boys the other night on discord, I was just like, in a, was, did, was it because yeah, just, you were you dealing know, with, with like your friend? Yeah, yeah. But you know, it makes you think about what you've got. Like, right. Yeah. That's good. But you know, it's just, I don't thinking about what could be and what I want. It's right. Interesting because it's like, Oh, well my buddy who has one of the, like it sounds bad saying like one of the worst, like going through lives I've ever seen. Mm -hmm. Like he got diagnosed with schizophrenia at 20. Wow. And then he recently got diagnosed with ALS where he's trapped in his body, can't move, and he's also schizophrenic. Like, I struggle to think what he was going through. Right. You but can't we, relate to it. Yeah. I mean, it's hard to yeah, yeah. imagine. And it was just like, oh, well, my shit doesn't stink that bad right exactly. now. Exactly. <laughs> no, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, I mean, that's, that's good. Uh, I mean, because I've had to do that a lot. Try to focus more on what we do have yeah. rather than what we don't. Right. Because if you just focus on what you don't have, you're just going to drive yourself crazy and decide to just be. <laughs> That's questionable. Yeah. What was that? I wish I wish that was a fart noise. <laughs> I wish I'd have ripped ass that loud. There was a sound that came from this direction, yeah, 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 yeah. but it was just a chair. It was interesting. It was just to say the least. I'm going to do it again. <laughs> oh, there it is. Yeah. Oh, you guys there are having is. a hard time. Your friend has ALS. Yeah. I was saying something good. I was just like, wow. And then all of a sudden, Donnie's like, this is a good time to fart. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but it was the chair. Anyways, no. Uh, but it, I wish, it, uh, like I said, I would have claimed it if it was mine. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, yeah. The lack yeah. of like any kind of recognition of what just happened was like, what was it? <laughs> There's Did there, that happen? there's someone in my family that I will not name names where whenever he does rip it or she does rip it uh it's just straight face just mm. yeah nice and I'm almost like you know I think I'd feel better if you just recognized it <laughs> like you just say like sorry I twitch or whatever yeah. Like, yeah. just like give me a head nod yeah. <laughs> that's me we yeah. both heard it <laughs> <laughs> you know, something. Yeah. That would feel better. Listen, just, you just need to can choosing you to ignore claim it. it. Can you claim it? Please? Can you just claim it, please? I have no problem claiming it. What drives me crazy when people are like, you farted. I'm like, no. I, I would totally yeah. tell you if Listen, I did. If but... I farted, I'd be proud. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you don't need to question that. Yeah. Okay. But, but anyways, I wanted I want to finish this this thought is like recently now, I've been Trying to focus more on what I do have rather than what I yeah. don't. Because yeah. whenever I do just sit here and like have a pity party for myself and like, man, I'm not where I want to be, blah, 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 yeah. blah, blah. I, my mindset is bad. And then it ends up me, it ends up being me treating people in my family like a little cold yeah. because mm-hmm. I have a negative sure. I get thought it. process. Yeah, we actually had a little bit of a conversation coming in here today that was like, that, that, that is, it seems to be the theme often of this podcast is like, are you doing the actions that you dream of doing? Not do you have the things or, that you or the circumstances that you Are want? you at least putting, taking yeah. steps to get to where you want to yeah, be? Yeah, because it's actually working your way towards um, 
the goal mm -hmm. that feels the best, the work itself. Sure. Like, yeah, um, the journey. Yeah, I literally is like, exciting. I mean, look at Frodo. Right. Right. Frodo right. loved every second of that. He loved being in the swamp. <laughs> yeah. He loved getting carried around by Sam. He, he liked loved getting stabbed by that spider. Yeah, he loved it all. He loved the unconditional he's, love he's, from, he's, uh, from yeah Bilbo from, from or not Bilbo, Sam. But, but Sam. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he was, he loved he especially loved that the eagles just swooped in and picked him up at the end right. instead yeah. of just dropping yeah. him off. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah he, he loved did all that. the hard work. We'll see you in a minute. Yeah. <laughs> Eagles. <laughs> How come you didn't? How come you didn't? Why didn't you just fly up here yeah. with a ring yourselves? <laughs> um, anyways, uh, so I, I I feel like I'm at a better place than I've ever been in the entirety of my life because I am fully autonomous in my choices. Like I'm right. choosing to go to work. I'm choosing to go make the music or, you know, start the cover bands or whatever. And I'm in control of it. And I, it's my destiny. And I'm, even if I'm failing at it, it's still like, that's an awesome place to I'm be. Doing, I'm right. doing right. You're, you're, you're trying it's by choice. You're trying. Yeah. 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 And you literally, mm -hmm. you won't fail until you decide to stop. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Failure is only quitting. Yep. I th do think, though, something that really concerns me the most is what am I defining myself by? Because I have this little weird fantasy where my hands get chopped off and I'm like, now what? I can't play. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. do I still do music? I don't have, I'm just nubs. You could do a theremin. <laughs> yeah. You know what? I've seen so many YouTube videos of, of people with nubs doing incredible things. Yeah. Yeah. Even if, if you lost your arms. I'd find a way to keep doing it. You'd find more. a way. Yeah. Yeah. Like, have you seen the guy with no arms that, like... That like plays keyboard with his tongue. I have, I have not, not seen, seen that. that no. no. Okay. Well, it's nasty because you can tell this guy's licking his keyboard <laughs> right. like a lot. He's like, blah, 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 but. Blah, blah, blah. And then my friend Jason sent that to me, and he said, "Look, it's Mister Steal Your Girl." Jesus. And the guy's like, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> like just shredding this keyboard solo with his tongue. Oh my god, that's incredible. Yeah, it was really funny and uh, and incredible. Anyways, though, but like, yeah, I, I think about what would happen if you lost the facility or the ability to do what you've defined yourself by, right? Like, or what are the things that you define yourself by and what happens if those are gone and you're just left? I don't know. You find a way or you just don't. Yeah. <laughs> no, you don't do that. You don't do that. You have to find something else, some other no, way to contribute so positively. So interesting, like right now in my life, a lot of what I do is looking after the kids strangely. So, Heaven, like, I don't even want to imagine, but I, like, something happened to my kids. I literally yeah. don't know if I would have a purpose for living. Yeah. So, right. No, so, I, so yeah. What I've, if you were a veggie tail, like, no arms, no legs? You know what I mean? That's tough. Like, what I do you know. do? That's, it, yeah, it's hard to put yourself in that spot because we're not in that spot. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. like, well, just think about it because for me, if if something that I'm doing that I'm defining myself by, like I'm Donovan, I'm musician. I would hope then that if I was my life is is hung up on musician. So interestingly, I don't have anything like that. I'm not yeah. like I don't have a label for myself. Good. I don't know. Your new label is make content with me. There we go. <laughs> yeah. Because I love every so second of it. So you then, a complex if, real quick. If that was my label, you guys could just wheel me in here. I'm just like. No, no, no! I think no, 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 no. Yeah, yeah. How was your week? Yeah, if you were a veg, if you were a veg, yes. No, no. I, I've told Donnie multiple times that I love that you're that you're as into this. At, it feels like as as I yeah, am totally because yeah. it motivates yeah. me. It really whenever, has whenever, the temperature in the room, even though we were having a good thing. Yeah, yeah. it's like so awesome to have three. I just three because everyone's. You know, got so their we're like own Alvin yeah. Bits, you know? Simon. We got the two extremists and the libtard over here. Yeah, no. Is that what is that? Two extremists? Is yeah. that which one of us is? Okay. Yeah, eventually. That was a throwback to earlier, but anyway. yeah. Eventually, oh, yeah. we'll have a, a, a full on political podcast yeah. and then we'll just tear him apart. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, Please stop, guys. <laughs> yeah, I don't no. know. Well, you know, we, we have differences too. So it's like, yeah. we all think a little different. I think the coolest thing about, well, I hope that whatever's happening to kids these days is they get to equal e get an equilibrium and be like, oh wait, none of this shit matters. We vote exactly once every four years and do our best. You know what's crazy time. is is uh, for me personally, some of my closest friends mm -hmm. on the political side of things 
think the exact opposite of yeah. me. And that's so And good. they're my closest friends. Like, they're yeah. my best buds. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So when the Civil War breaks out, bayonet each other. <laughs> yeah, just <laughs> No, no, I'll just sit there and be like, but you keep going. <laughs> I'll take it. I can't fight you. Uh, yeah. No, it'd be like this. It'd be like, shh, shh, boom, I got a gun. Boom, I got a gun. Boom, oh, no, I got yeah. a gun. Actually, yeah, if we're doing Gears of War style, I'm pretty good at that game. So yeah. I'll just be like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All this time I bought a chainsaw gun, and this entire time you bought, I don't know, COVID shots. So. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. But I did want to hear the Serena story. I asked you earlier. I forgot. What was it? Remind I, I wanted to know oh, like what like, I first thought of her. It, like What drew you to her? Well, it was ten, ninth grade, Miss Ball's class. Mm-hmm. She sat two seats behind me to the left, and I just kept finding myself like... Just like, oh, that, she looks hey, pretty hey, cool. What's up? <laughs> and... Was this y- your yo, senior shorty. year? Or? It was yo, like, shorty, let me see your paper. No, it was like ninth grade, I think. Ninth grade, okay. Yeah. Dude, ninth grade is no, a powerful time. <laughs> it might have been tenth grade, I don't remember. Yeah. But, high school. We didn't. We went on a couple dates in high school, like mm-hmm. senior year, I think. Mm. And then uh, I was just super attracted to her. She was funny. She was my height was such a big plus. Nice. Mm. Are you a little bit taller than her? Oh yeah, she's five two. And you're five seven. That's right. <laughs> yeah. I remember. So I mean, because like all the the girls in my high school, most of them were mm-hmm. well above me, mm-hmm. and this girl was. Hit that spot. Nice. Just, yeah. I can look down. You're right. <laughs> and uh, how's it feel down there, babe? <laughs> yeah, I, I do. I do. I hate that it is that it is that way, but it does feel so nice. Yeah. When your person is smaller than you. Yeah. Well, I think that it feels the exact same way on the opposite side of things for the most part. You yeah. know what I mean? Do you ever like, see like a really really thin bean pole guy and a giant yeah. round eight ball looking girl? And that's Ooh, what they yeah. wanted. And so it, more power to him. You yeah, know what it's I mean? Always like I'm always like, is that guy? Does he feel good? I bet he does. I bet it. He's I bet got he someone is. who loves him. Who cares yeah. about him? Yeah. Who cares about the height if if, if both people I mean, if are into feels it? Great. You know I just what I mean? Always, I'm kind of like I everybody know, has their preferences. I bring my I, own, I didn't want to talk. I bring my judgment into that right? situation, and I go, "Oh, I wonder if he's happy." I no. shouldn't be that way, but yeah, yeah no, he's he, he is. I mean, the initial they, thing you know? that drew me to Serena was her wonderful tushy, just yeah, impeccable. Yeah, no, this is all physical. No, you're like I mean, that was that was the first thing. Yeah, you and said then she was we really started. Cool, though, you know? I mean, honestly, that's the first thing I noticed about Lauren was yeah. her ass. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, straight to the heart. Yeah, dude. Oh, and man. then I started hanging out with her. We were friends first, and then we became lovers. Nice. <laughs> Anyways, let's talk about your story. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then, you said that kind of like I would imagine, like uh, Nacho Libre. The, oh yeah, the sidekick. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. We finch first, then we and became lovers. lovers. <laughs> <laughs> but I, no, but I think to... there was a date party my freshman year. I was in a fraternity, and I invited her. And then we were no, no, no. We went to the date party, and then I had a party at our lake house the following weekend or something. And then after that, it was inseparable. Well, nice. Until we drove back and forth from. I went to OSU. She went to OU. We'd like visit each other every what, weekend. Really? Yeah. That's crazy. And then she went, she, the next year came to OSU. Because of you. I didn't ask her to. She but did. she was like, Nick's there. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I got to go to that college. Yeah. That's awesome. And now I have two children. Now you've got two children. <laughs> we Look both what she won- did to me. <laughs> yeah. Now, now we've got. She tricked me. He's got two children. I've got two children. We both want our nuts clipped. Yep. Yep. <laughs> When are we going to film that? When are we going to go? I don't know. I think we got to find someone to be like, yeah, that's totally fine if you guys come Yeah, you guys want to hold hands while we're chilling. Oh, that would be so funny to me. (laughs) Cutting your nuts. Yeah. (laughs) Nick and Jared, best of friends. Donnie's got Donnie's got to film it, though. Donnie's got to film it. Hey, guys, what's it going to be like? (laughs) It's just so much editing. (laughs) So much editing. What if the doctor's like... He's like, which balls? <laughs> oh no! Oh no! I like, mixed oh, no. the balls. Up. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like they remove them and switch. <laughs> yeah. We're not cats, Donnie. They don't remove the balls. Okay, now we're gonna apply the rubber as far band as I to know. your balls. <laughs> <laughs> the guy like switches the plates. They have like little stickers like Jared's yeah. mix. What if that was possible? <laughs> what if the doctor switched our balls and then one of us ended up with a kid and then and then. 
Oh, and then like, would it work like that? I have no. I that, mean, that could, there's no way testicle transplants exist, but that would be <laughs> but funny. Maybe. That would be really. You come funny. out with a short, hairy, black-haired <laughs> baby. Yeah, <laughs> I, gotta, I gotta know about this testicle I, transplant. There's, there's no way someone's tried that yet. Can I bet the Russians have, have a maybe yeah. in yeah. the 60s. Yeah. Transplant. What if we change the bulls? <laughs> yeah. What if what if we cloned my bulls <laughs> and we put them in all the other men? <laughs> <laughs> then all the men would be great. But there's also a only much... a handful of testicle transplants have ever been performed between people. Handful. Oh my God! So they've happened. Yeah. I like how they use the phrase. Technically, a testicle transplant handful. is possible. Dude, that's awesome. But does it carry... Well, what does that mean? Does it like... Is it like... Yeah, do you have their sperm now? Right. Or, right or I don't know. I don't understand how that works. A 36-year-old man born without testicles receives one from his twin brother. Well, what? that sounds totally genetically <laughs> fine. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Was, yeah, I mean... That doesn't But holy answer. crap, he was born without balls. <laughs> He's like, that's brother. crazy. Brother. Brother, I need one of your balls. Can I please have brother, one of your nuts? <laughs> Brother, I need one of your buds. And the other brother had like the other four. Like, yeah, sure, you could have one of my nuts. <laughs> he's he's like, just got four balls. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I've got too many. Actually, we're twins. He's I got, got all of yours. All. He's got them all. <laughs> <laughs> oh my uh, god, they're like conjoined twins, but one of the guys just gets all the, the nuts in the, the in, nuts. in this separation surgery. <laughs> Jesus. He didn't leave any balls for the second one. That's like those, you know those girls that are famous Siamese twins here yep. in the United yep. States? They, yep. both have they like, got married recently. Yeah. That, yeah those I want to know how also, that works. Yeah. Also, I heard them speak for the first time since they were like children. Yeah. And they mm. like start saying the same thing at That's the crazy. same time. It's crazy. Like imagine being married and you just hear like, yes, we want to go to the park. Like two different voices saying like, we want to do this. And she's like, I uh, Special Bro, kinda. I could not handle that. Are right? you cheating on one with the other? No, no. So I don't know. Uh, so I read an it's article. It's one hole. So yeah, it's one hole. Two so which heads. one are you? <laughs> it's two heads. It's me tonight. No, do you, it's me. Do you it's feel me. that? And they're both like, yeah. <laughs> oh my! God. I can feel part of it, dude. Why? Why God? Why God? Yeah. God? Why? How? How does that happen? Why no, did you but, do this? Uh, I think legally he had to marry just one of them. Yeah. So the other one's just like. Hanging out. Along for the ride. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just like hanging out. <laughs> Are you guys done yet? I, I don't care. I can't. <laughs> I, can't. I got to stop. <laughs> oh, fuck. Bad. It's bad. That's a skit right there. <laughs> it's not good. Guys, can I play Xbox now? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, I'm oh. still going to put that on the internet. <laughs> <laughs> let's see how let's see how that turns I out. I love the <laughs> <laughs> Donnie, what the, what are you doing? Uh, I got really confused for a second. I was really concerned about the testicle thing, guys. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Just I just wanted see. to know. Okay. All right, well it's 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 time. It's time to end. It is time to end. It's been two hours. Is it's it? not been two hours. I'm it's looking l- at it. It's been two hours. It is one twenty four. Oh wow. Yeah. What, a, what a good podcast. Yeah. Mm. A lot of indeed truly breaks like breaking the mold kind of stuff yeah, we talked yeah, about. Like, yeah. If anybody wants to know who we are, <laughs> just listen to this episode. Yeah. We let a lot loose. <laughs> I'm talking about masturbating. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone that's just, that's old news for in everybody. Buttholes again. The buttholes <laughs> in. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of buttholes in the last episode. Testicles. Testicles. All right. Well, that was episode 26 or 5. One of those. You know what? I think I'm not I can't sure. count that high. So there it is. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. Boom.